Hello, my name is Jason Hatfield. I'm the operations manager for the highly enriched uranium materials facility. This is a brand new facility at Y12, which was created for the safe, secure, and efficient storage of highly enriched uranium and special nuclear materials. We receive materials uh, in this facility from all over the world as part of the Global Threat Reduction Initiative, as well as material from sister sites all over the country. Weapons are brought in from other sites for storage here. Many of these weapons are either disassembled or go through a quality evaluation process for future shipment back out into the stockpile. This facility is unique as it stores 12,000 drums of material and 12,000 cans of material. We are currently inside the HMF loading dock. This is where vehicles used for either over the road shipments of materials or on-site vehicles are unloaded and loaded for shipments. HUMF was built as a modern nuclear storage facility. We were designed to the highest criteria within DOE without actually being a nuclear reactor. This facility was actually designed to a 50-year design life. That really doesn't sound like very much, but considering our existing facilities were only built to a 10-year design life, I realistically feel this facility will be here for the next 100 years. This crane is one example of a tool that we identified in the automotive industry, which would significantly help and improve the safety in our operations. In our existing facilities, we have people who bend over and actually remove items from a container and lift them up. Many of these items can be heavy. This crane, with a slight touch, can move down, up, or left or right. This has increased not only our safety, but it has also increased the efficiency of this operation. Weapons are returned to Y-12 from the stockpile. Once those weapons come in, they are brought in, disassembled, and the highly enriched uranium is extracted from those weapons. That uranium is then packaged into small, safe quantities, or it's downblended for many other purposes, such as use in commercial fuel reactors or for test reactors, such as are used for medical isotope generation. All those small quantities are placed into convenience cans, which are then stored in small containers and placed into storage containers for long-term storage in the facility. These storage containers have up to a 50-year design life here in this facility. The container you see before you is a rackable can storage box. This container was designed and developed for use in the highly enriched uranium materials facility. This container was developed in order to store a large quantity of nuclear material in the smallest, densest footprint possible. This allowed for reducing the size of the highly enriched uranium materials facility and thereby reducing the cost to the taxpayer. This container has a neutron poison inside the container, which actually allows for that safe, dense storage of nuclear material. One of the other opportunities that we took advantage of is to develop our procedures and store and use those procedures electronically. Now, we have scales, we have barcode readers, and we have measuring devices, which all collect data into one system, which is then input into our data collection system for long-term retention. HMF was designed with flexible storage. We have open floor storage for the use of large containers and containers that do not easily fit into our racks. We also have rack storage. Our rack storage is designed for the densest storage of material possible. In this area, the racks were designed to the highest criteria within the Department of Energy to withstand any type of earthquake or other seismic event. All of these storage areas are flexible for future needs and future programs. Our floor storage can be adapted for racks in the future. Our racks can be reconfigured depending upon program need and depending upon what is needed in the country. Well, there you have it. A look of the highly enriched uranium materials facility from the inside. This facility has been called the Fort Knox of Uranium. Our mission is to provide safe, secure, and efficient storage for highly enriched uranium. There's a lot of transformation and a lot of change that's going on at Y-12, and the HUMF facility is the first and cornerstone in that transformation process to provide the next 50 years worth of storage and operations for enriched uranium products. Thank you very much for your attendance.